hello you guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is tattoo cooks and on today's video we are making this yummy and delicious chicken pasta <laughs> to make this delicious yet simple meal i'm going to need chicken breasts some salt and pepper you know it's standard onions diced and bacon some mushrooms chicken stock cubes pasta of your toys i used that one um, crushed tomatoes, canned tomatoes I meant, green pepper as well as some tomato paste, cream, fresh cream, parmesan cheese, um, some Cajun spice, garlic powder and lastly some chicken flakes. Um, if there's anything that I forgot to show here, we'll see it later in the video so firstly i'm going to start by cooking my pasta you follow the instruction that's on the packet just don't make the mistake of overcooking your pasta while the pasta is cooking i am now going to focus on my chicken breast as you can see i had four um, pieces of chicken breast however i cut them in half um, for this purpose because i want my i was saying because i want my chicken to cook fast and also um properly i just started by putting some salt and pepper on my chicken as well as a bit of some oil so that the chicken can mix well and also i added my cajun seasoning which is the main seasoning for this chicken um if you don't have any cajun seasoning you may use your chicken spice or your favorite spice for chicken i heated up my oil in high heat and now i am frying my chicken it's going to take about two to three minutes to brown on each side as long as your stove is on high This is how the chicken is looking after 2-3 to three minutes. I am now going to add the rest of the chicken and then as soon as I am done I am just going to place my chicken aside in another bowl. This is how it's looking. In the same pan, I know mine is a bit burnt but guys just don't worry about it. <laughs> I am now going to fry my bacon. This is going to take about just two to three minutes. I am now done with the bacon. Um, now I'm going to start by eating my veggies. I'm going to start by frying my onions as well as my green pepper. I'm just going to fry them until they are a bit see-through as you will see on the screen. As soon as my, I'm happy with the onions, as you can see, I'm now adding um, my chicken stock cubes into the pot. And then I am going to add a cup of water. Remember that now my stove is on medium heat, no longer on high, as when I was frying. I'm going to let my chicken stock cook until it reduces. So in another pan, I'm now frying my um, my mushrooms. The reason I'm doing it in another pan is that, guys, I completely forgot about them while I was cooking. I was supposed to have added them as soon as I was done with the onions, but it's fine. I'm still going to do this. And then once they are fried with a bit of some oil, I'm going to add some butter for that creaminess. Luckily, with mushrooms, you don't need to fry them for 10 minutes, guys. It only literally just takes 2 to 3 minutes. As you can see, I am now done with the mushrooms. I am now going to just add them to that um, pot that was cooking the stock. That was reducing the stock. As you can see, it has reduced for a bit. So I'm going to just let it cook for longer just so that um, also the mushrooms can get to soak into the nice stock. As soon as my stock is reduced, as you can see on the screen, I'm now adding my canned tomatoes. 
followed by my tomato paste. If you don't have canned tomatoes, it's fine. You may add um, your two grated tomatoes or just as many as you prefer. Um, this has been cooking for about just five minutes. As soon as uh, my sauce has thickened even more to a consistency that I like, I am now going to add my chicken as well as the bacon. As you can see, I have diced my bacon, my chicken I mean, to just small pieces and I've left two or three pieces of the full like cooked chicken breast so that I can use them when I present this meal to you guys. I've now just added my garlic powder as well as my chili flakes. If you're not a fan of um, hot food, you don't have to add chili flakes, but believe you me, they make all the difference in the meal. This is how the deliciousness is now looking. <laughs> I'm now adding my fresh cream. It is a 250 milliliters. As soon as I've added my fresh cream, I am now going to add my Parmesan cheese. If you don't have Parmesan cheese, I believe any other cheese that you have in your kitchen will still work. Sometimes when I don't have the Parmesan cheese, I do add my cheddar and it always comes out amazing. Now I am mixing like all the creaminess as you can see on the screen. It tastes very delicious. It is important that you do all of this guys in low heat because we don't want our sauce burning. As you can tell now I am adding my cooked pasta. I want all of it to be coated in that creamy mixture because that is how it's supposed to be. <laughs> I was very gentle as I was mixing this but however to shorten my video of course I had to fast forward everything like I always do so yes please be gentle as you mix your pasta I so wish it was possible for you guys to, to taste this like from your screen because uh, wow <laughs> I really feel like it's one of the most delicious meals that you can make as you can tell, this is how I cut the rest of my chicken breasts. Now I'm just going to place them on top of my pasta nicely. And then I'm going to add my fresh herbs. I had some, what do you call this? Yo, I forgot the name of the, of the herbs that I was using. But yeah, I'm sure you can see some parsley, guys. <laughs> And yes, this is how my meal came out. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. Until the next one, goodbye. <laughs>